let's determine the intervals this graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. So let's go and put a little man or woman right up here, and let's read the graph from left to right. Now, as this person is going down, that means we can say the graph is decreasing. If this little person is going up, we can say the graph is increasing. And as we read this graph from left to right, if that person is staying at the same horizontal or vertical distance, we can say it's remaining constant. So we're gonna start here, even though this graph continues going left infinity and up infinity, we're starting here, and we're just gonna read it from where we can see it. So as I start moving to the right, you can see that the vertical distance here of this person is going to be going down. Therefore, we can say this person is decreasing on the interval negative infinity, because they got to start somewhere, all the way to the horizontal distance of one, two, three, four. Right? And we're not going to include this negative three, right? We're not talking about the horizontal. We're always talking about the x intervals that this graph is going down. Now we're at the lowest of the low, right? Or relative minimum in this case. Now what we're going to do is looks like we're going to start by going up. Now here's the kind of confusing thing. We're going up really, really fast, and then we're slowing down. Then we're going really up, and then we're slowing down. So the rate of change, right? The slope is changing. However, what is actually happening with the height that this person is uh, experiencing? They're still going up. If they're going up really, really fast or really, really slow, they're still going up. So we can say the graph is increasing on the interval of one, two, three, four, of negative four, all the way to one, two, three, looks like four as well over here. So even though this changes and stuff like that, it's still going up. And then up here is once we get to the path, the peak, then it looks like we're gonna be falling again. As we go further right, we're gonna start falling down. As we continue doing more and more to the right, we're still gonna be going down. So we're gonna have another decreasing interval, and that's gonna be from four to infinity. There's no constant interval, and that's how you determine the increasing, decreasing constant intervals of a graph.